Hi there, Sierra loves dogs. And last week I had the opportunity to go to Beaver Creek, Colorado for a work event. So flew into Denver, drove up to Beaver Creek, got to explore the village, had my work event, and then drove back and flew home. So I divided up into two segments. This is segment one with the first day of my trip. Thought I would share some of my experience with you. So enjoy. Okay, it's Sunday morning, not too early, it's 7 a.m. and I'm heading back to the airport for the third time. I'll be at the airport in the last three days. So I was at the airport Friday, came home Saturday, home for 17 hours and I'm heading back. Uh, heading out for a work trip to Colorado. This is an altitude challenge because I get in at whatever it is, 5,280 feet or you know the mile high uh, state or mile high city and then drive up to, I don't even know, like 15,000. Uh, we're going to an event at Beaver Creek. When I go for my company, I do try and like wear logo clothes when I travel just to help with brand awareness. I don't know if it actually does, but in my mind I'm thinking, oh, somebody on the plane saw me or somebody who's going to the event saw me and then um, it reminds them about our company and then they buy more. <laughs> I don't know if that's really true, but I always think that it's going to happen that way. So uh, that's why I've got my logo gear on. I also will wear, when I'm at an event, I'll also wear my uh, company logo um, attire when I go in the gym. I typically don't wear it during the day because I, I'm in a dress or I want to look a little fancier, so I'm not going to wear logo attire, but uh, I, I will also wear it in the gym. And, just show people that Corfac works out. Ugh. <laughs> because of the logistics of travel for this event, there's only one work day, which is Monday, but uh, it's bookend by two full travel days. So uh, the flight out there, obviously you need to get into the airport and then um, renting the car and then the drive is a, is a solid two hours, maybe a little over two hours. Here's the fun thing though. I have a really good friend who used live where I live now who moved to Colorado and I'm gonna pick her up and she's gonna join me on the drive and basically sit in the hotel room when I go to all the meetings and everything we'll have a little bit of free time together but uh, basically she's coming for the drive and she's gonna she can uh, work remotely so she's gonna work out of the uh, hotel room when I'm in meetings on Monday and then she'll drive back down with me on Tuesday so it'll be super fun to get to spend some time with her all right, it's 7.30, I made it to the airport. It's like oddly quiet here. Like there aren't any people. <laughs> it's almost like when I came back on my flight on Friday the 13th, 2020, and I came to the airport and it was like abandoned, except the parking lot's full. So I'm not that worried. It just, the mood feels quiet. I guess because it's early and it's Sunday. Okay, yo, Denver airport's a madhouse. It always is. I'm trying to find some food, I'm kind of starving just arrived and it's about noon here and I haven't eaten yet. I love the clock my time, but I'm going to see if I can get some sandwiches. Denver Airport is just massive to me. More on that later. Sundays, I don't look at social media, so everyone here on the bus to go pick up the rental cars on their phones, and I'm kind of just looking around, kind of at a loss, but we get there and there's a huge line, like 50 people, so I decided to bag the rental car and take an Uber to my friend's house, and she's going to drive. Scenery up from Denver to Beaver Creek is just amazing. Look at these mountains. Breathtaking. Take two. Take two. Okay, we're going to Beaver Creek and uh, the line at the rental car facility looked like it was going to be an hour. So Casey's driving now and we are about an hour away, but we just both got an ADHD moment and saw the Bighorn Sheep um, sign at the same time. And we looked at each other and said, do you want to go see the Bighorn Sheep? Go yes. on. Yes, we do. We'll see if we see any. Okay, apparently we're in Georgetown. Okay, here it is. So apparently we're gonna stand in that and look across the freeway up on the hill to see if we see any sheep. She just said um, this time of year they go to higher elevation. So pretty, no sheep though. We did not see any sheep. They said the sheep viewing time is May through July. So uh, that sign is a lie. We came in August. Sheep are gone. 
Okay, I cannot get enough of these views. They're gorgeous. I was a little off on the elevation, not 15,000 feet. Made it to our hotel. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at these fake flames at the entrance. I might have to come back and play with those later. Made it to our room and this is our balcony. It's a weird step up, about eight inches to get up onto the balcony. But look at this view, all the pine trees and gorgeous blue sky. I loved it. We found where my event's being held and set up for the next day and then walked around the village. Lots of shops and people playing cornhole and restaurants, super cute. The slopes are being used just for gondola rides at this point, but the landscaping was beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go get some food in the village. How do we get to the village? Okay, I gotta come sit in this giant snowball because it's calling my name. We're still trying to find where we're gonna have dinner. <laughs> Look at this cute little creek in the middle of the village. I love it. Okay, we are at Antlers and, what's the name of the place? Antlers and something. Oh, Alpine. Alpine. Alpine and Antlers. We got the truffle fries and I got an Alpine mule. So far, so good. We were fascinated by this little creature, which we at first thought was a baby hummingbird, but then we saw it had antenna. We looked it up, it's actually a moth. It's called a hummingbird moth. Look at the view from the restaurant. The sunset was just amazing. These colors are gorgeous. After dinner, we walked back through the village to the hotel for s'mores. Outside at the fire pit, and they give us sticks and a little goodie bag with marshmallows in it. So we're gonna make some s'mores here by the fire. I got myself a little Bailey's from the bar. And we're ready to go. Okay, I'm making my my uh, marshmallow now. I love that they gave me wipes. That was really considerate. I told you I was gonna have to come back and play with that fire in the entryway. Guess what happened the minute we got back to our hotel room? Whoa! Look at the cool still frame from my video. Turned out awesome. Well, that concludes day one and part one of my work trip to Colorado. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, um, I've been doing some decluttering and some random vlogging. And uh, this was obviously more of a, a vlog type style. I may be headed that direction. So if you like that, definitely give it a thumbs up. Would love for you to consider subscribing. And if you enable those notifications, you will be notified when part two is posted, which will hopefully be within the next week. Thanks for staying to the end and I'll catch you next time. It makes me laugh when I do that. I don't know why I do it.